A brother says, if a man tell his, tells his wife to keep fit and clean, to lose weight and belly fat, as due to this, he doesn't feel attracted sexually, but still she doesn't obey. There are too many beautiful skinny women out there that tempt him so much. What is the ruling on such a woman? And what advice would you give to both the man and the woman? This actually requires a lecture for both the man and his wife. Basically, ideally, the relationship between a man and wife should be based on love, on compassion, on mercy, on understanding one another, along with so many other aspects. A man should look fine to his wife. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, used to take care of himself, groom himself. He used to wear perfumes and when asked, he used to say, I like to look pleasant to my wife as I like her to look pleasant to me. So it's something mutual. A woman must take care of herself, must beautify herself. It's a must, it's an obligation so that she would help her husband lower his gaze and manages to satisfy him to the best of her ability within her ability and this is something everyone can do likewise a man has to look sharp has to clean himself has to be fit physically he has to also take care of his belly fat he has to take care of things that may make his woman unpleasant or unsatisfied with him, such as the smell of his beard, the smell of his body. Some men don't shower except once every two or three days. This is wrong. Some brothers have, like, like they say, some brothers have odor. These brothers have, oh dear, that is, whoa. No, you have to take care of your hygiene, of your body odor. Take a shower once or twice a day so that your wife would find you pleasant. And likewise, she must do the same. There has to be mutual understanding. There has to be reciprocation. Now, your claim that there are so many skinny women out there who appeal to me, this means that you're not fearing Allah, that you're sending your gaze left, right, and center. And if she got skinny, in the future would say, I would like you to gain some weight. And if she gains some weight, I'd like you to reduce your weight. What is this? You're interested in a supermodel. And even if you have a supermodel, you look for a brunette or a blonde or someone who's shorter or taller. This is why Allah tells us to lower your gaze. This is an indication that you don't have content in your heart. And the Prophet said, والسلام, if the son of Adam had a valley of gold, he would acquire a second. And if he had two valleys of gold, how rich can you be? Two valleys of pure gold, he would acquire a third. And nothing fills the belly in a narration, the mouth in another narration, the eye of a son of Adam except dust. This is when he dies. So my advice to the man, try to be diplomatic with your wife. Hit the gym first and lead by example. Look in the mirror, ya akhi. Mashallah, who you think, do you think you are? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Mr. Universe? If you want Miss Universe, you have to be Mr. Olympia. So you pay peanuts you get monkeys you can't demand your wife to be something when you yourself are not even as close but at the same time be content 
with what Allah has given you because so many are deprived. If you hate something in her looks, there are so many things that may please you. Her cooking, her caring of your children, her, her, her caring of your parents, being nice to her in-laws, being modest, being practicing, being knowledgeable, all of these compensate for her looks if she is as bad as you claim. So be content and be grateful to Allah Azza wa Jal.